Hello, Star Seeds. How are you all doing? I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I am doing the same. I have another message for us from God. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now, God. You are welcome, Emmanuel. Come and commune with us. We thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins. We thank you for covering us with your blood. At Let no evil come near us in our dwelling giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, for your love and kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness and consistency. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for loving on us. Thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. We thank you for being Jehovah Rapha. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me to give this word to your people to encourage, uplift their hearts. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, 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 Star Seeds. Hope you all are enjoying your weekend. I am doing the same, even though it is raining off and on where I am. Um, but I am still finding a way to enjoy it every moment. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really, really appreciate you all very much. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome back. You're always welcome back. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and get into this message. Um, somebody's please take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, God know who he's trying to reach. I don't. Just here giving you the message. All right. So it looks like somebody's divine partner is kicking themselves. Um, they're realizing that they confided in a family member about you all's relationship. Um, somebody, a close family member that they thought would not um, repeat the information that they told him. But um, they're finding out now that this family member that they confided in told all of their business um, about you all's relationship to a karmic energy. And um, this is what caused this Tara moment. Um, they're figuring out, they're finding out that this karmic and their family member that they confided, confided in we're working together um, to keep them stuck and to keep them away from you all. So your divine partner, um, they listen to these two um, energies, um, karmic energy. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm trying to get in that the family member that they confided in was a female. So these two females were... Um, working together to um, keep you all apart and to um, use this person for their money so that they can be stable. Um, this karmic family member did not want this divine partner to be with you all. They wanted to be wanted this person to be with their karmic friend. So this is why they were telling, this karmic friend of theirs, everything that this divine partner was telling them so that they can conspire against him or her. Um, so this is what um, causes all the black magic to come about. This is what gave the this karmic fuel and ammunition to um, do black magic on you all's divine union to keep you all apart. Because them and their friend wanted to trap this person and so they can be stable and secure. So your divine partner is realizing um, with all the truth that is coming out in this season that they did not choose a chosen one. This karmic lied to them and told them that they were a chosen one, that they were um, their root chakra was in balance and that they were, um, you know, operating in this 
this business boss type of energy that they had their finances together and if they work if your divine partner worked with them that they were going to be um on this status and in this status and on this level of finances as well so now your um divine partner is very uh restless in their mindset in their thoughts um they're very noisy um they feel like they lack direction they're feeling overworked like they lack focus um they're having a lot of anxiety and worry at this time because they did something very impulsively listening to these two karmic female energies and um they're realizing that this these two karmic female energies did not want them to their life to be in balance. They do not want them to have love, real true love, money, abundance. Um, they didn't want them to get married. They didn't want them to have um, peaceful harm, peaceful peaceful and harmony in their friendships, in their relationships, um, business relationships. They didn't want them to have any emotional bonds and they didn't want them to tap into their creativity. Um, this divine partner of yours, they could be a, uh, a artist or they could um, be into the arts or they could, you know, have a gift of, you know, drawing and painting. They did not want these this person to tap into this. So they were doing a lot of um, deception and hiding things behind the scenes. And um, operating in an unhealthy ego and playing the victim like they needed help. But they were low, very low vibrational and very toxic. So this divine partner is realizing that they did not choose a chosen one. And this karmic was trying to convince them and reassure them that they were a chosen one. And so this has your divine partner in their feelings. Um, they're feeling very emotional, unstable in their feelings, also in their thoughts. And they feel, they're feeling like they got tricked and lied to. And this karmic family member used the information that they gave them against them. So this divine partner is wanting to release a burden very bad. They feel like very burdened. They feel overworked. And, um, but now they feel like they are stuck from moving forward or from moving out physically, physically moving on from these two karmic energies that trick them and trap them. And so now they're seeing and realizing that these two karmic feminine energies only told them that they were um, successful so they can keep them from moving forward. They told them that they were going to be successful if they joined in and worked with them, moved in with them or whatever. Um, but they're seeing that these people are just trying to keep them stuck. They didn't want them to be stable and grounded and secure and um being focused and in the present moment, have confidence and vitality. They had a whole plan all along and your divine partner was gullible and he fell, he or she fell that for that plan. They wanted, um, they're seeing now that their karmic family member wanted them to give an offer to this gold digging karmic that was unstable and um, also doing magic in the background as well. So your divine partner, um, they feel now that they're not going to have a chance with you or they're seeing that they wanted to be with you to be devoted. They want to be with you at this time, to be devoted to you, attached to you. They're craving you, and they feel like they're not going to have peace if they're not with you. They're, a lot of them are feeling like they are nothing without you. 
and that you're not in an emotional storm. You're not bothered by this situation. You are, you have healed and moved on and you have strong boundaries up against them and you have drew a line in the sand. And a lot of you all are not um, talking with them or not dealing with them on no type of levels. And so they're, they're realizing that without you, they're not going to be, they're not going to have peace. Their life is not going to be in balance or in harmony. So they're pretty much feeling like they're going to be nothing without you. And they are heartbroken um, and wishing that they would not have gave an offer to this divine, to this karmic energy, karmic lover, or karmic friend. Um, wish they would not have told this karmic family member their business and gave them any information about you all. And they are heartbroken and feeling very betrayed about this, that they did all of this behind the scenes to um, keep them from being in a divine union with you and wanting them to be stuck with this karmic friend and gold digger that does that is very unstable financially. And so um, there's a lot of um, drama going on at this time, a lot of upheavals and obstacles. They're realizing that they're going through this because of the choice that they made to um, listen to these two karmic female energies. And um, they're seeing now that they need to heal and they're ready to surrender and let these people go release and give up and that they need to heal because them not being healed let um, too much slide it caused them to be um, not being able to listen to their intuition their intuition was blocked and um, <clears throat> so they're ready to surrender and let all of this um, these two karmic feminine energies go so that they can heal and mend a relationship with you all if possible. But this um this divine partner, they're realizing who they are now, um, that a lot of them are seeing that they are uh, they was manipulated by somebody who was, you know, telling them that they were a boss, that they had their financial um they had a financial plan and they had it their finances together and if they joined in and teamed up with them that they would be successful as well but they're seeing that these people only wanted to ruin them they only wanted to ruin their um divine union with you they they didn't want these these people they didn't want them to marry you and so that's why they took all of these impulsive uh reckless actions in the background and spread all these lies and rumors about you and now everybody is heavily burdened at this time because they're receiving a lot of karma for this um, black magic that they did behind the scenes. This Saturn energy is here setting the record straight. And this karmic energy is very, very mad. Because they didn't care if this divine partner was not with them in a committed relationship, just as long as they didn't come back towards you and they could use this person for stability and security. And so now um, your divine partner is feeling like that you have transformed, you have evolved and you have grown to the next phase of your life, you have healed and you have released the past, you are ascending, you know, learning and expansion, and you're preparing for a union elsewhere. And they are, this this divine partner is separated from you at this time, and they are sad 
experiencing a lot of sadness, bitterness. They're missing you, thinking about you, and they're uncertain about their future because they're realizing without you, they're not, their life is not going to be in balance. They're not going to be in peace, in harmony, or alignment. And so this person has woken up and um, they've been receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities from the universe. And they're seeing the deception, the lies and the trickery now from these two karmic um, female energies. But this person feels like they want to evolve with you. They want to have a new phase. They want to renew their mind. They also want to grow as well and rise from the ashes of this situation. But they're feeling like they're not enough, um, that they have made too many mistakes. They didn't listen to their intuition. They was operating in their ego and in their pride, um, you know, thinking that they were a know-it-all and that you were um, not telling them the truth when you were telling them everything about these two karmic feminine energies. And um, they're doing a lot of self-sabotaging at this time. They have a lot of frustration because they let a, a narcissist love bomb them. And they were acting um, in this narcissistic energy as well because they were trusting the these people that they were going to um, be able to prosper with them and, you know, finally be on top or finally have something going for themselves. But now they're, they're seeing that these people just wanted them to keep, keep them from true unconditional love. And the truth is coming out. And they're also finding out that somebody is confessing to them that this karmic friend slash lover, they might have been dealing with this person in the past. They're confessing to them that this person faked the pregnancy or they're a pregnant. They are. Um, they fake the pregnancy or they don't know who to. If they're pregnant at this time, they don't really know that your divine partner is the, the father of this baby. So somebody is confessing to them and telling them this inf information that this person was a narcissist, just trying to control their love life. And so they're um, breaking up with this person at this time, and a lot of them are divorcing them as well because they were stepping out on them, being intimate with other people. And this is how some of them don't know who their baby's father is at this time. And so um, your divine partner is realizing that there are a lot of these karmic um, energies, karmic female energies, they projected a lot onto a divine feminine with all these lies, gossip, slander, and this is why they're all in a in a um, a tower moment at this well at this time. They are um, experiencing storms in their life, storm after storm after storm, um, realizing that they didn't want you to heal. They didn't want you to take care of yourself. And this divine masculine is realizing that they didn't want him to heal. They didn't want him to commit to you and you all to be a family and live together. And now this divine partner, this divine masculine, wants to apologize and ask for forgiveness. They no longer want to, they want to apologize for being in this distorted masculine type of energy operate in low vibration and in their ego and not releasing and purging these this karmic that was you know coming in between you all's relationship they they're realizing that they should have let this person go completely should have 
set boundaries with the, with them and cut them completely off so you all's relationship would have had a chance to be successful. And they will also want to apologize too for not listening to their spirit guides. Their ancestors as well were trying to constantly get their attention. And you could have been telling them this as well, but they thought this was far-fetched and far off. So they're being awakened to all of this stuff now. They're realizing that these people did not want them to grow. To grow. They didn't want them to heal and grow. They wanted them to stay in this low vibration, toxic energy so that they can continue to loot, to use them. They wanted them to stay in their thoughts and stay being indecisive and un able to make a, a a decision about you all. They wanted them to stay in lack and have a lot of doubts and not know what to be in emotional turmoil within and mental fog within their mind to also always be indecisive about you. So this person would not come towards you because they knew that you were this person's twin flame. Y'all had a divine union together. But they wanted to steal this siphons this person's energy and steal their energy so that they can continue to be paraded around town and make it look like um, you know, they're balling it and got their stuff together so that they can, you know, flodge on the internet. It was all about status, uh, superficiality and fame, being internet famous. They wanted this person to have limitations and to fear you being their their twin flame so that you all cannot come together and be in unity. And your divine partner is in deep regret over this because they're finding out all of this information. They're finding out the truth. And so this person, um, your divine partner, they're really willing to make a sacrifice to get themselves back in alignment, to um, realign with you. They know now that they are out of alignment. And a lot of you all could have been telling them that they were out of alignment. They shouldn't be where they are. um, And they definitely shouldn't be living with these two these two uh, karmic feminine energies. They're out of alignment and this they're going to see, you know, they're going to start, you know, things may look like it's going good at first, but they're going to start to see, you know, all the troubles and situations and circumstances that are rising one after the other because they're out of alignment. So this person is, sees this now and they feel like that without you, they're not going to be at peace, harmony, balance or in alignment. So they want to make a sacrifice and um, so they can realign with you because they see that you are happy, blessed, you're healed, you're at peace, your life is in balance in every area of your life and you are on your right path, you're operating in your purpose heading towards your north node and they see that they are losing where they are and that they need to surrender, let go of everything that they were holding on to in the past and heal so they too can move forward as well. So you all will be hearing from them soon if you have not heard from them already. And a lot of them feel like um, they don't know if this karmic, this baby is going to be theirs or not because they're finding out this person was sleeping with other people too. And some of you are are not going to take them back if they are, if they have this karmic pregnant because you feel like 
anybody who was doing black magic on you, you're not sharing your wealth so that they can um, so they can experience some of your wealth as well by you being married to your divine partner and them having a baby from a karmic. You're like, oh, hell to the no. So they, a lot of them know you're not going to take them back and they're hoping and wishing and praying that this this baby is not your, is not there so they can uh, have a chance at getting you all back or trying to figure out how you all can work on this situation, this circumstance. All right, Starseeds, um, that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you soon. Peace be with you.